I'm going to show you though, I'm in Blackboard. So in Blackboard, uh, Uh, if you're looking for documents, uh, the second one, these are all the documents. I kind of grouped them together. And, you know, as far as, but they also have the original titles on them. So if you're looking for something, you know, digging through sometimes through the weekly things or assignments or whatever, you can't find it. If you come here, uh, everything that's on the web, everything that's in the Blackboard is here, uh, every file. and. Uh, up here we have the links. So So there are links that you know, for anything that's on here, there's a uh, the links to all of the things that are linked in the course are here. Would you say by like next week everything should be on schedule and like we won't ha you won't have to push anything back like it, 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 yeah, yeah it, 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 we, we, should, we should be catching up uh, pretty quickly here. I mean, it, 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 there's the big thing is is getting the groups ready together that's the, right. that's my next big push is actually get these groups because there's a, a lot of uh, um, you know, uh, there's some people that haven't, they haven't signed up for groups yet and that's that's Makes group projects kind of difficult if not everyone's out in there. So I think I'm going to start. If, I'm going to give them another day, and then I'm going to start assigning people to groups, which okay. I, don't, I don't like to do. But uh, you know, in this case, I think we're, we're probably going to have to. Uh, it, it, we'll have plenty of time. And, and by the way, you know, the, the the focus of this class is, although there is assignments and there's things to do along the way, the, the real focus of the class, you know, that's that really isn't the focus. The focus of the class is to. Um, you know, to get to get you guys ready to get a professional portfolio and get some practice interviewing, which is going to be very hard. It, it, well, it's difficult anyways um, to do online. Although uh, much of the interviewing is done online nowadays, so uh, doing it online, practicing online may not be a bad such a bad thing because a lot of it is done. Right, because I know this is all new to you as well, because I've had you at RMU, and now you're a Roosevelt teacher. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you for accounting. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, it, and, and so a lot of the stuff, you know, a lot of the stuff that we actually are talking about are things that I've gone over with other students. The, you know, students use me the reference and, and things like that. And, and, and so we'll be going over some of that stuff that uh, what employers are looking for and all that. But anyway, let's... Um, yeah, so uh, I, I should get the, uh, I mean, we, we won't get behind it. And if you actually look at the schedule, there's actually a few weeks at the end there that are pretty open. So it's, it's not, this is, this is not going to be a tight schedule. It, and, you know, it basically is going to be what you put into it. Uh, if you take it real seriously and you put it into it to get a, a job, that, you know, the, the, the payoff really isn't the class. You know, the grade will be the grade, whatever the grade is, but it, uh, the, the payoff will be, um, you know, in some ways this class is the most important class you'll have. You know, I think not, you know, because of the area, it is the content of it, is that, uh, you know, we're, we're good is it to get, you know, do all these amazing things and then not be able to use them. And, and so that is why this guy the way this class you know in some ways is the most important or the ideas in it are the most important all right let, uh, let me go to the hand up here i just want to just cover a few things in the class and we'll open it up again all right so uh you don't have to write this down this is not an assignment and these are not required but the focus of the class is that uh, each individual can make their own professional portfolio and get interviewed practice. And this is going to be different for every student.
So it's going to be different for every every student, whatever you're going into. And, and while some people might be doing the same thing, but, uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are in different situations. So people are moving to different states, and you know, whatever it is. Uh, you know, there, there's going to be differences of, uh, between the students. And you're going to tailor it. And when you go through the course, also, you should be aware to uh, take those things that you need to work on. You know, uh, so every student will work on, we work on different things. You know, you know, some students are not, are not comfortable from a camera. Some students are not comfortable writing. So those are not, whatever it is, those are the things you're going to work on. And so it's not going to be the same for everyone. Uh, and, and, and even when you go through the, when they have the prompts for different things, you can pick and choose what you want to focus on. So, you know, I, I, I say avoid uh, the idea that these are lists that every, every box has to be checked. You really see that, you know, if you if you've gone through this book, you know, they he, he lists, you know, here these are the skills you should have. He lists you know, forty skills. Well, it's kind of, you know, first of all, you know, it's probably not going to be a job that's going to require those forty skills. And second of all, it's a, it's a, there's probably no personal plan that has. All right. Uh, employers. These are, and this is kind of where you're aiming your all your whole focus is at. Uh, new graduates. Are an unknown risk. Because they don't know, they don't have a track record. Uh, it's very risky for them. You know why? Uh, hiring it's expensive, and they want to make sure they get it right. And so it's very, it can be very difficult for them to determine you know, that by resumes, uh, professional portfolios, interviews, and those sorts of things. So, what? do you do with that? Well, uh, your whole focus of your professional portfolio should be to ease their minds, to make it uh, appear that you are the solution to their problems and not more problems. So, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to, to ease their mind about any um, doubts that they have. So your resume and your, your portfolio is going to be all about that. Uh, I'll tell you, when, when, when they call me up and ask me for a, um, a referral, they ask about attendance. Uh, they ask about group stuff. And they will they also talk about, you know, grades a little bit. But that is the first one they talk about. It's absolutely the first one we talked about. The attendance. And you know, when people get let go of their first job, a uh, large percentage of the time is because of attendance. They don't show up. So, all of these things um, you could put in your portfolio. Another thing you put in there is uh, some. Um, uh, work examples. What I mean by that are um, you know, writing, uh, Word documents, Excel, PowerPoint. You want to make those things look really good so that they, it'll ease their mind. Like, oh, gee, I want to see more reports like that. Okay, as far as professional portfolios, uh, I'm going to pick up a couple of them here. I want you to. They're, 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 these are the same examples that are in the. Um, if you look at the bottom of that list of them, there's uh, one. Uh, there's a, a number of them. But these are some of the ones. Let me switch to.
this is a extremely well done professional looking portfolio. One of the things you got to remember about portfolios and uh, resumes is they are advertisements. Now this is a visual graphics person so you would expect this to be a knockout <coughs> uh, looking uh, document and it is. So this is kind of the high watermark for a professional looking document. So this is Gretchen, she's in that, the, she's in the um, student examples. I'm gonna grab another one. This is another good one to look at. Let me share it with you. Marisela, she is a an accounting person. And a couple things about hers that is uh, very eye-opening is, first of all, she's fairly well she we'll go to her introduction and her, she has a vision statement, mission statement, you know, biography you can take a look at. This is the interesting thing about it. Now she has had a lot of good jobs. She's a you know she's she's a CPA and a, a CMA, a CFE, she's a very high level uh, accounting person. But look what she puts in there. And this is from somebody who knows what they're doing. She talks about Excel, spreadsheets. Right in there. Why does she put that in there? Because she knows that's what they're going to be looking for. She also puts in there uh, accounting uh, tax return forms. You know, 1040, which is something I mean, you're not accounting, you're making, you know, but 1040 is a, is a uh, the form that most people fill out their taxes. And then there's a, a Schedule C and a Schedule SC. Those are, there's some other things that are put on those two. But she puts them right in there. Now, if this is somebody who has tons of experience in putting those things right in, then you should know that um, you, know, you need to put stuff like that in there also. See, someone hiring her for taxes, they, you know, they look at these and they say, oh, okay. We're not going to hand her a tax return and say, here, do the tax return for this client and, and you know, have her say, well, what is it? And uh, she has some other stuff in there, too. But so the important thing about this one that, that I really like is, first of all, it's very easy. It's very laid out in a very easy manner to the ground. But second of all, lots of work examples. And again, someone looking at this would say, oh, this person really knows what to do. The last one is uh, Michael Sanchez. The first page, the cover page here is really good. I mean, that looks like something you'd see in a magazine or something. Uh, his portfolio stuff that he had, uh, I think I would have probably pick a different font. It's kind of hard to read some, but, but the idea is, is you know, is, exactly the same is it uh, it's fairly well laid out it's a very professional looking and it's an advertisement you know, these are all basically advertisements okay, so uh, professional portfolio advertisement so you know and in uh, one more thing about this the professional book why you know I say what I did well I know you know even if my portfolio isn't that great I'll really wow them with the interview you won't get to the interview professional book 
professional portfolio Tell me before the interviews. If they're not right, the end of the day, you're not going to get it. And that's just the way it is. So, one of the reasons why this has to look so good is that you can then do the interview. So, it's an advertisement is to get your foot in the door so that you get the interviews. Um, videos. All right. Now, as we all know, <laughs> we, would, we would probably much rather be in a classroom right now or maybe a, you know, doing things differently than we're doing now, but we can't because. One of the most bizarre things in my lifetime that has ever happened is this COVID-19 and videos. COVID-19 is not going away. So COVID-19 is not going away. It's going to be around here for a good number, probably years. And even if it does get under control, it has opened the door and the eyes up of people and businesses especially that look it can happen before COVID-19 it was science fiction that there'd be a virus that is so contagious and kills people but all around the world that uh, you know it was just it was ridiculous it's not ridiculous anymore it's a it's a fact that it can happen and it can happen again so having said that uh, COVID-19 is not going away, and even when it does, there's still going to be the, uh, the possibility that it, uh, it or something similar to it will return. <clears throat> okay. The second thing about video, so this is going to make videos very much important for you know, any time in the near future. Second of all, it is cheaper. For a business to interview using videos. So once you know, once that the, this kind of infrastructure has changed to videos, they're probably not gonna go away from it. You know, instead of having uh, 11 floors of a building rented out the rent out three everything that can be done on you know through online is going to be done online what you know white paper a big building you don't need the big building and now everything that goes with it you know, the security and uh, maintenance and all that other stuff so it's going to be cheaper for businesses to do these interviews things that are using videos and as we know in business if it's cheaper that's the way they're going to go just gonna throw money out for no reason. Okay, so what does this mean for you guys? I would uh, first of all practice practice making concise videos. And what I mean by concise is you don't want to have the rambling video about on, 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 whatever. Have it written out, say it uh, you know, precisely how you want it. And uh, you, know, you can get practice at doing that comfortably. Record them, look at them, critique them, do them again. Keep doing them until you're comfortable doing it. And if you get comfortable doing the videos, you'll probably be much more comfortable doing the interviews. And the interviews are the same way. You're not going to be rambling on the videos, you know, in the interviews either. You got to be concise, you know, direct, 
answers, that sort of thing. So uh, practice those and uh, record them and critique them. It's not like chatting with your friends. These have to be much more uh, direct. By the way, one of the things that I would encourage you to do is when you, when you record the, the phone or the can you know your camera your or your phone one thing you can do is put it you know right near the your script so that you can actually read it you know, the, uh, and be looking straight at the, at the camera um, this is a, you know, kind of a trick to make it look a little bit more uh, that you can actually get all the points in and also be very concise uh, fourth one, if you're, uh, if you don't want to look like, you know, like, like I, by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully I'll get my, um, my, I got a video room set, being set up in the basement. I hope I'll get it done this weekend. But if you don't want this, you know, if you don't want to look like you're in a bunker somewhere, uh, one of the things that you can do is to, uh, shoot the video outside. Shooting a video outside really uh, is helpful. It, it, it really makes things um, so a, a little bit more casual, but also uh, a little more interesting. You know that you know this is an interest. This is boring. But um, you know, so if you the shooting outside sometimes can be can be really nice. My, my wife actually did this for her um, for her job. She you know she shot a video and. By doing it outside, uh, it, it really does. Uh, it, it really jumps. I mean, it, you know, it really looks good doing it outside. So, uh, don't be afraid to do it outside. And, you know, again, especially if you're in the you know, uh, closet or whatever. It's actually small office, but you know, it, it, it'll look much better if you do it uh, outside. And, and you, you can find places that are very appropriate for you know, public buildings and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And the last thing I kind of want to talk about just briefly, and that is business is social. One of the things that is can be difficult to comprehend is that it really is a social uh, environment. And that social graces apply. Uh, let's do do's and don'ts. Uh, do's. Uh, be enthusiastic. Be very enthusiastic. People like people who are enthusiastic about anything. If you're enthusiastic about it, then, uh, you generally bring people along with you. And it could be you're enthusiastic. You know, in, in, look at TV sometimes. You know, they have all these different programs, and people watch them partly because the enthusiasm. You know, you, you may not care about uh, poodles, but when you can see someone on TV and they got poodles and they're enthusiastic, they're talking about, you know, they, oh, they're going to do this, they're going to do tricks, and they go, you know. Be enthusiastic, you know, in, in the business, and be enthusiastic about whatever it is that the company is doing, you know, whatever it is. Uh, people uh, are much more drawn to that than say something negative. Uh, be polite. Uh, please, thank you. You know, yes, you know. Uh, another good thing you do whenever you're introduced to people is. Uh, make note of their names, write their names down, especially if, they, if you don't know ahead of time who they are, if they bring you to a conference room. And as they go around introducing themselves, they just write down their names. Um, just like, you you know, you try to remember the names of, uh, if you're at a party or something like that, you, know, you try to remember somebody's name. Don't be afraid to ask them their name again. You know, I'm such a, what's your name? You know, don't, don't be afraid to do that. And you're send thank you letters and that sort of thing to all those people. So, you know, 
do is be enthusiastic and be play. Okay, let's see the don'ts here. Uh, a couple of don'ts that are um, real obvious you hear all the time. Don't do not talk about politics or religion. Politics and religion are generally a no-no, uh, especially nowadays. It, it, you're, you, you don't know what the politics or religion are for these people, and there's really no reason to talk about it. They don't want to talk about those things either, especially things like the religion, because it's a protected class. You cannot, you know, if you are discriminated against or whatever, um, you know, the, or it can be on religion. So you do not want to talk about this. And put them in an awkward situation. So don't talk about politics or religion. Uh, don't try to show how smart you are. One of the things, you know, just like in regular social circles, someone is always trying to show how smart they are. And a lot of times it goes hand in hand with showing how dumb other people are. And that's a very negative um, view. So try to avoid that. And quite honestly, it's better to be receptive to what they want you to do rather than, hey, I have all the answers. I'm the smartest person in the world, that sort of thing. So try not to be, you know, you know, answer their questions and any questions they have, answer them as thoroughly and best you can, but don't, uh, don't try to show us Don't try to be funny or flirt with people. Uh, both those things are no-no's. So trying to be funny, you know, they're, they're, they're serious about it, you know, they're trying to get people in who can do the work and all that kind of stuff. And if they, you know, they think that you're trying to be a clown all the time, they're not going to want to do it. Everyone likes a good laugh. There's nothing wrong with that. But, it, um, but uh, don't try to do it. And for God's sake, don't flip. I had a friend who was in, a, in an interview, and the guy kept winking at the woman at the, at the during the meeting. Uh, horrible. But anyway, kind of common sense thing. The thing about you know decision in social, when you meet somebody for the first time, what do you do? You know, generally you're not going to do all these things. You know, so you know, again, it's social. Be enthusiastic, be polite, answer the questions. Be uh, all those sort of things are helpful, but uh, try to avoid anything that we've seen as negative, and certainly anything as you know, dear, say politics and religion. Try to avoid those things. All right. Um, what's that? I, I know that it's kind of a just a general overview of it. But, uh, now, again, uh, the uh, professional portfolio. This is the focus of this whole thing. Oops, what do I do here? Uh, hold on. Sorry. Sorry about this. So the professional portfolio, that's the whole focus. Now my screen's flickering. <laughs> but so the, the, the whole focus of this thing. And so if you uh, take a look in those documents that they um, that are on the uh, uh, blackboard. So take a look at these documents. And if you go down to the bottom here, there's all these examples, student examples. And they have the, uh, the, you know, the podcast and all that kind of stuff. And especially these professional portfolios, take a look at them. That's the end product. That's what you want to aim at. All right. So 
these are kind of like the end of you know the, the as far as what you want to what we want to physically leave here with. The other stuff, the interviewing stuff, that is stuff you're going to leave, but it's not, it's not going to be necessarily a, a document. But um, but this is as far as like creating the documents and that that's kind of like the end product of what you want to have. And and look at the ones that you the, you know you, you go through those, see the things you like. If there's something you like, try to emulate them. Things you don't like, change them. You know, it's it's, it's entirely up to you. And it's been, you know you better than anyone else. So you know, you know how you want to present it is really uh, up to you. But you know, look at the student examples, and those things should be um, at least an aim of what you want to uh, go through. Some of these are really good. Some of them are not so good. Some have, you know, a few things that are good. And, you know, again, take the best, leave, leave the rest. All right. Uh, any questions? Anything other things you want to go over? Seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah. Again, this this class isn't you know it, it, it's not the um, uh, it's not gonna be a difficult class, but it, it really is just what you is my screen flickering to you guys? Is this thing yeah, it is. Yeah, you're. Yeah, it is. Weird. I I think what it sounds crazy, but I think that I have a uh, this camera is actually a very high definition one, and so it since it has to cut down the um, whatever. And I think when it cuts it down, it doesn't really sound. I'll hope I'll get a different I'll get a different camera. <laughs> I get my I'll put my cheap one in. So all right. Uh oh, okay, that's too annoying. I can't watch it. We'll go back to that. I do have another question if I could run it by you. Sure. Uh, would you be all right with if I were to send you, I guess, a cover letter and a resume because I am uh, about to actually start applying for a certain job that I am looking at right now? I'll absolutely take a look at it. Okay, appreciate it. Yeah, and, uh, and just so you know, they, the, I'll, I'll get the website more straight. It, it, this is not a, it's not that heavy duty of a class. You should spend some time making your professional portfolio look good. In, I think none of you guys have been in other classes similar to this, so you probably already have resume and all that other stuff. You may have to update it a little bit, but um, yeah, it, it really is about making it look very presentable so that you get the art. So, yeah. Okay. Well, if you don't have any questions, then uh, we'll call it a day. If you next week, if you have any questions or if you want to send them to me, I, I, I can you know, give you the answers. And we'll, we'll do that first. Uh, you know, maybe just to make sure that everyone gets their questions answered. But uh, other than that, um, that's it. Thank you. We appreciate taking the time for this call. Anytime. Yeah, appreciate it. Have a good one. Have a good one, guys.